What's up boys, welcome back to the channel. So we're just gonna pretty much start right where we left off. Oh great. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! Stay right where you are, Hemingway! Why would he shoot? What's wrong with y'all? Why the hell would you shoot? Exactly. What kind of lunatic would shoot like that? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh, great. Why the hell is he after me? Who the hell is Nightingale? Crap. I have no gun. I have no flashlight. We're kind of screwed here. I didn't like that. Stop running! Freeze! Okay, men. Keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Oh, see him? Oh, damn. Oh shit, they're shooting at me. Okay. Damn. Marty had a stamina. Okay. Okay. What the, what the hell's with these guys? Why why are they shooting at me? I haven't done anything. The dark presence sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, those poor bastards. I hope they weren't in that. Nope, 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 Yeah, screw that. Let's go. Oh, great. Search the area. Damn it. Stay sharp. Wait a minute, is it possible that it's helping me? Cause it got rid of that cop car. I think it's helping me. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's just terrifying. The fact that it's helping me. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Damn. I like the sheriff. She's pretty smart. Oh, man. Okay. The darkness is fucking helping me. That is just terrifying. Crap. 
Great, now they got a freaking chopper again. Oh shit. Hey, what's up, buddies? You on the ground. Hold it right there. Shit. There's nowhere to run. Freeze! No, no, there's no need for that. Oh god. It is. The fucking darkness is helping me. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. The darkness is fucking helping me escape the police. That is insane. Is there anything here? Anything? Nothing. Shit. Okay. Let's go. Jeez, is that the gas station? I think that's the gas station. Great. Wait, wait, grab that. Okay, now use it. Uh, this is Jane, Mulligan, Thornton, come in, over! Uh, uh, Thornton here, uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were just, hey, Mulligan, what are you doing? Come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here, over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan, over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both of them. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. Why the hell is the FBI even here? What do they have anything to do with any of this? Anything interesting? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Yep, that's probably my target. Okay. I'm sure I gotta make it to the radio station then. Okay. So really that was pretty much nothing, just a radio to get a bit of an update. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. The fuck? Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Okay, if it was telling me to escape the police, why is it trying to stop me now? Hey, look, another thermos. Okay, let's grab that. Okay. There was no power to the searchlight. Ah. Aha, yes. Okay. I like how there's sparks shooting out of the wire. Okay. Got it. Okay. What was that? Oh, damn it. Metal can. Nope, 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 nope. 
I don't know what that was. That's not scary at all. Okay. Oh, jeez. Alright, alright, alright. We're good, we're good. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Oh, son of a... Nice. Okay. So that's, uh, effective, to say the least. Oh, great. That took a little bit longer, it seems, to actually explode than the last one. Okay. Okay. Good. We're good. We're doing good. Doing just fine. Need more of those. This radio. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, uh, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. All right. Jeez, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, come on. Well, that hurt a lot. I'm out of freaking stamina, damn it. Doing right. We still got five left. Five left. Shit, I'm completely out of stamina though. We're almost to the station. We're almost to the station.
hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Jesus Christ. Let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. All right, boys, we made it. Let's see if we can talk to Pat. Okay. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake has walked in, folks. I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Whoa, whoa, everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Two, three. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? boys I mean, that's where i'm gonna go and end it for tonight so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell button i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye